What's up guys? It's me Tasha. Happy Saturday. I know a lot of you guys have seen my acid wash jeans video and there's two comments that I get a lot on that video. The first one being, can I dye them after I acid wash them and what would that look like? And the second one being, oh no, all my jeans turned yellow, they didn't turn out white, what do I do? They're ruined. Well, first of all, yes, you can intentionally dye them after you do the acid wash bleach. And also, if they turn yellow, let me tell you something. Not all jeans are created equally, and that's just the reality of it. Some jeans bleach better than other jeans, and some will turn completely white, and some will have a yellowish tinge to them. But don't feel like you ruined them because you can dye them over, and it'll look totally intentional, and you'll have an awesome pair of jeans. The first pair I have here is from BB, and even though BB sells amazing quality clothes, this pair is still bleached with a yellowish tinge to it. The next pair I have here is from Hollister. I love Hollister but this still has a bit of a yellowish tinge to it. And the last pair I'm actually gonna make into a pair of shorts is Mossimo Supply Company from Target, and this has a even greater significant yellowish tinge to the white areas. So I'm gonna show you two different techniques today. One is gonna be just an all over dye, and the next one is going to be more of a tie dye effect, so we're gonna leave some of the white areas to give a more variety of colors. Depending on how yellow your white areas are, you just need to keep that in mind when you pick a color that you're going to dye your jeans because you want to have the color wheel in mind as you're picking your dye color because if it's significantly yellow in the white areas, you probably wouldn't want to pick a purple to dye it because odds are it's going to turn out brown and that's not what you want. To get to this point, follow my acid wash jeans tutorial. I will leave the link down below for those of you guys who haven't seen it yet. And once you follow that, you'll get this effect on your jeans and this is where we're going to start today. So for the first technique, I want to leave a portion of the jeans the natural color and also the bleached white color. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing pieces of the jean and I'm tying it off with a rubber band. There's no method to my madness, it's just completely random, whatever you feel like. And I'm doing this because it's going to give us a variety of shades and also a more tie-dye effect. If you have a pair of jeans with the brown label on the back, like these Hollister ones, and I know also Levi's has labels on the back like this, put some Vaseline on it before you dye it so that the label doesn't get dyed and it stays brown. Once you're done, just go ahead and stick it in your dye bath. This is actually a custom color that I mixed. It's partially raspberry and partially a pale pink. So just follow the instructions that's on the dye that you chose and continue to dye your jeans. For the second technique, all you have to do is just take your jeans and stick it in the dye bath. You don't have to tie it or anything because we're going to do an all over dye. Just make sure that it's all coated and every now and then just come out and stir it so you can make sure you have pretty much an even color all around your jeans. And then once that's done, just go ahead and follow your instructions, rinse it in cold water, wash it in hot water, and your jeans will be done. So here's my friend Olivia and she's trying on the shorts for me, so thank you very much Olivia. And these are the shorts that I did just by using the first technique where I just sponged up the shorts and it left the natural color and also the white color. And here are the jeans that I did, the Hollister jeans. And I really like the way these came out because it gives it a really fun tie-dye look and it almost kind of looks like paint splatter and it just gives jeans a completely new look. Now here are the BB jeans that I did an all over dye on. They don't fit me so I couldn't try them on but I just wanted to show you guys what they look like if you dye them all over. So that's it guys, let me know if you're planning on trying it down below in the comments, let me know if you've done something like this before, let me know if this helped you because I know a lot of you told me that you ruined your jeans because they're yellow and really you didn't ruin them because you can turn them into something pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this, like I said if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can be notified of any new videos that I have coming out and I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and I will see you guys later. Peace out.